Aloha. Here's a simple exercise to help develop spiral energy and stretch the deep tissue in the arms, upper back, and chest. So after you've been standing for a while in Wuji or in holding the ball posture, we exhale and draw in and up. And inhale and drop down and out. These are very small movements and they are also telescoping along the lines of the joints, back in, all the way to the shoulder blades and the spine. So as you exhale, feel the tissue draw up from the pubic bone all the way up to the clavicle and also inward toward the throat notch. And in the back, as you exhale, you feel the tissue from below the shoulder blades drawing up and in, almost like a triangle, toward the big vertebra and back. Then, as we exhale, we release the back first, dropping everything down, and then having it spread out laterally just a bit. So as we exhale, everything draws in and up, and also telescopes of the joints, so the elbows will be coming in a little bit. We want to stay as much as possible within the bone structure of the posture and only modify it just slightly. So again, exhale, draw in and up. And then inhale, drop it down and out, feeling it drop down first in the chest and back and then spread out into the arms and elbows, forearms, wrists, hands and fingers. So you find as you exhale, you are kind of scooping as you draw in, and then letting that curve reverse itself as you inhale and expand. Of course, you can do these with reverse breath in the opposite manner. Now let's look at it from the side. So we exhale and scoop and draw in, everything up and toward the big vertebra in the spine, and in toward the throat notch from the front. And then as we inhale, we drop it out all the way down to below our shoulder blades. Feel it expand laterally and stretch all the way from the elbows to the fingertips. Exhale, draw in and up. Inhale, drop down and out. Exhale, and inhale. Later, as you get more comfortable with this, you will draw in and up and down and out, less physically and more energetically, using your mind to recreate the feeling that you've just generated through the physical movements. And then eventually, without any physical movement, because you want to have both these aspects going on simultaneously in your stand, in the upper torso, chest, upper back, shoulder blades, and out through the arms and hands. Of course, later, as you get good at this, this dropping down will extend all the way to the bottoms of the feet, through the sacrum, through the perineal area, and through the low dantian. 